Well, it wasn't a perfect score for team sports, but one out of three World Cup finalists isn't bad for a country the size of Aotearoa. Hikurangi Jackson with this report. What a year it's been in sport. And we begin with the Cricket World Cup, co-hosted by New Zealand and Australia. Te Arawa descendant Trent Bolt cemented his name in world cricket, taking the most wickets and leading the Black Caps into the final. It's a shame that we lost, but it might mean there's, there's bigger things out there for us, and no, I'm sure the, the team will, will work even harder to, to work hard to get that next one, I'm sure. The Silver Ferns lost the nail biter in the Nepal World Cup final. Coach Waimarama Komaunu rung many changes before their campaign. Waimarama stood down after beating Australia two in a row, and somehow Nolene Taurua, the only New Zealand coach to win an ANZ championship, was overlooked for the head coach position. The Winyard family keep proving they are not human. Jason Winyard won his seventh world title in woodchopping, and his son Ty was recruited by the most successful basketball college in America. And in rugby league news, the Kiwis are still on a roll, convincingly beating the Kangaroos in their first Anzac Test win since 1998. This is the Kiwis' third win in a row against the world champions. The Cowboys won their first NRL championship in what's billed as the greatest grand final of all time. Lisa Carrington is still a beast, winning the K1 200 and 500 metre goal in Milan this year, which makes her the person to beat at the Rio Olympics. And in rugby, team of the year goes to the Highlanders, who managed to win their first Super Rugby Championship with only three All Blacks. Could Jamie Joseph's efforts give him a chance of joining the All Blacks coaching team after Steve Hansen announced 2017 will be his final year? Could Jamie be the first Māori All Blacks coach? And sporting moment of the year must go to the All Blacks, dominating win over the Wallabies in the World Cup final. The All Blacks became the first team to win back-to-back -back World Cups and to win three World Cups. Nehemil Nuskara turned into a superstar at the World Cup, and we caught up with him earlier this year before he made the All Blacks. Sort of want to get established in Super Rugby first before I start kind of getting, getting too far ahead of myself, I guess. Finally, Marai would like to pay tribute to those who have passed on who changed the way we watch sport. Kia koutou ngā rangatira, moi mai rā. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, when I see you again. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. Then I'll be standing right here talking.